Welcome to another episode of I Know Jax. I'm Joe Talentino. Can you feel it? <laughs> the air is cooler. The sky has that wintry sunset glow to it. It's winter in Florida. <laughs> Even though our weather doesn't exactly scream winter, it certainly is holiday season. Turkey Day's coming up on Thursday already, and my wife is talking to me about hanging Christmas decorations. I'm sorry, but I'm not ready for that yet. I'm still in Oktoberfest mode. I enjoyed that so much. I'm not longing for the holiday season. I'm going to admit it. Yet. But no matter what I say, it's not all about me and what I like. In this episode, we will talk about holidays, of course. But first, we're going to talk about wine. Today I'm with my buddy Chris Chislett, the wine guy, and we're going to do something kind of special, huh? This is kind of special. How's about this? Just for me. I don't know if this has ever been done on TV before. I've never seen it. Never, World, ever. Never, World ever. World exclusive. Premier. World premiere exclusive. Exclusive premiere. Exclusive. So what are we going to do? Uh, all right. Four different wines, okay? Alternative, These, alternate, alternate packaging. Alternative packaging. Alternative packaging. Alternative packaging. You know, so this is... I, you know, I went out, I got four different wines, all California, all Chardonnay, and I just wanted to, you know, blind taste. The, the, these are kind of getting to be the cool thing now, especially this kind of, you know, the single serving, right. kind of peel off the top. You know, um, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I avoid them because I think they're probably going to be crap. And I think most people do. Probably you know, do, so we're going to find honest. out, right? Uh, yeah, and I've only actually ever tried one of these wines before, and that was like three years ago, so... And we're going to do um, a blind tasting. Tell us what that is. So, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, so. Okay, four different wines, all Chardonnay, all California. We want to, well, we're going to set up our wines, you know, uh, we're each going to have a glass. We're going to have a uh, um, little taste of each one of these okay. served completely blind to Ooh. us. So we're going to taste it and, and not know one. what it is. Right. And then, yeah, so we've got the novice, the experts. We'll right. put our heads together and see what happens you know, <laughs> see, what, see what happens next kind of thing. So that's kind of what I want to do. You know, we, we, the, wines, the wines are here, you know, they're cool packaging and everything. That's great, but I want to... I want to be able to taste it and be able to tell people. I, I'm, I'm down. Our, you know, I'm ready for being on. a guinea pig. That means I'm going to get at least Absolutely. four glasses of wine. Yeah, so we want to see what, what prevails as being our favorite wine here. All know? right, let's do it. Cool. Okay, so here's what we did. We're, to, to be a blind taste, we can't yep. know what's in the glasses. Okay. So we had our lovely assistants that are off camera pour the different wines into the different glasses, and now we don't know which one belongs with. So how, again, how just we for do. the uh, just for the viewers, so these are the the four wines, but these you know the, the glasses behind them don't necessarily do not correspond. represent anything other kinda, than. But it's same wine, same wine, same wine, same wine, but not necessarily what you see in front of it. So but should we, we start on mine? Well, let's start on your end, and we'll uh, we'll just get slowly S see what's what. tipsy by the. <laughs> By the end of it. I see there's smaller pores over there. Somebody was thinking ahead. Yeah, that was, that's smart, actually. <laughs> what do you taste? Uh, citrusy. Okay. For me. I got a good helping of uh, banana. 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 Yeah. Good helping of banana. Banana, banana citrus. Green apple. Yeah, yeah it's a yeah. green kind of sour apple. Yeah. Um, yeah finishes, Smith. finish isn't too bad. Finish is kind of medium. Mm. Got a little bit of a bite. Yeah. Um, not too bad. Hmm. I mean, not too not too heavy, right? None of that no, oaky no. buttery. No, like, no. No oak. I mean, really, it's not heavy. next to no oak there. Mm -mm. I don't really get any oak out of it at all. No, no. A little bit of tropical fruit, a little bit of pineapple, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah citrusy, fruit, right, fruity. Right, right. I will try the next Number one. two. <coughs> We're going to be really happy by the end of this one. Smells like a wet dog to me, I don't know. <laughs> it's your glass. Is it? No, it isn't. <laughs> it does smell weird, doesn't it? <laughs> Is wet dog a classification? Yeah, it's not good. No. Uh, yeah. No, I don't okay. like that well, I either. prefer that one. It's, I mean, it's all right, but <clears throat> compared to... That's like soured pears or something. It's like, yeah, it's like licking a wet dog and I think the alcohol's heavier. It's, it give you that warming kind of sensation Yeah, I mean, you bit. can see the legs on At it, the too. It's got a little more. There you go, the legs. But the... Um, I didn't like that. 
No, I didn't like that. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. We're going to be insulting somebody here. I don't care. Yeah, no, I don't. I almost want to go back to this just to. Yeah, was, was it really as bad as something you wrong it was? With it. Yeah, no, I was actually kind of surprised. I thought everything was going to be all right, but this okay. is actually yeah, pretty. No, that's pretty crap. Yeah, it is all pretty right. crap. Hmm. We can say crap on TV. Like, okay. I was right, going to I was gonna go worse than crap. So this one's next. That one doesn't smell like a wet dog. It doesn't smell like a wet dog. I almost get more like caramelized, caramelized apples, caramelized pears. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more oak. Granny Smith. Uh, A little bit more full-bodied, definitely than, than, than the wet dog. Oh yeah, I like this one better. Yeah, a little bit more. It's my favorite uh, so far. Yeah, I think a little bit more sweetness to it. Yeah, doesn't have that little bite the other one had. Oh, that mine? Um, sure. No wet dog there. That was weird, wasn't it? The wet dog? Yeah. I already know my favorite, and this isn't it. Oh, it's like salami. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting almost a meaty kind of. This is really weird. Like I'm not. <laughs> wet dog isn't salami. Like pepperoni almost. That's weird. It's, yeah, it's on the uh, nose. It's not much better on the palate. No. Uh, <laughs> he has to make all those funny. It's almost noises. kind of spicy. I know. It, it makes me look like I know little, what I'm little, doing. Little peppery. I'm, I'm taking this very seriously. Little peppery. You know? I'm this just is going kind of crap, crap. I know you don't give a <laughs> but. <laughs> Mm. Don't like that. That's my That's favorite. That's no good. I'm down with you, actually. I'm surprised. We agreed? We, I'm really surprised Woo! we agreed. We agreed on something. That's terrible. Uh, now, this one we just want to stay away from altogether. This one's my I favorite. I actually quite like that one. I, I, you go first, second. Yeah, and then forget first, the second, other two. Those can yeah, just disappear. die a horrible death. All right, so now here, here's, here's what we got to do. We got to figure out which one this was. All right. Can we do the reveal? So we got to do... Okay. They're, they're written on yeah. the bottom. You're right. It's the... Flask. The flask. Flask in number one. This one. All right, that works. Now, uh, okay. Okay, so let's let's put them in front of what we've what, what we've we got here. So right. that's okay. This was number two. That's number one. Okay, that's what's number two. Is green. Green. Green is. box. This one. Oh, uh, okay. Kind of interesting. And then we'll see. What was the wet dog? <laughs> the, the wet what was dog. the wet dog? Let's just destroy some wine that's maker here. That's the stack here. one. Stack. Oh my that god. That's bloody awful. I now, mean, here, here's the thing. This is almost going in the order I would have done if it hadn't been blind. If yeah. I had just picked it by the packaging, I said that would. Be you know, the best even one. me, honestly, I kind of thought this one would have done better because I really like Mendocino wines, Mendocino County. Not so. Um, good. So that was there, right? So. Yep. So number one, number two, two I, uh, three, yeah, I got three, last. and that was just terrible. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's. <laughs> it's probably, but the thing is, the one thing we both noticed that has more alcohol in it. Yeah, I would think well, so. It's, yeah, or it's, it has a more alcohol I taste. Was just, right? that, uh, that was, I mean, Ooh. I don't think it's the plastic packaging as well. I mean, we got, okay, so this is aluminum. Aluminium. Uh, al al aluminium. <laughs> uh, okay, and then compared to like two, I guess, Tetra packs right. on those. And this is, I mean. But I don't, I mean, I don't think the packaging had anything to do with the taste. I don't know. I, I, you know, I, anytime I've tasted, you know, wines that are in, you know, plastic single serving kind of containers, uh, it's never, never that bad. It's never been good. And I actually thought this was going to perform <laughs> better than it did. <laughs> the wet dog didn't uh, do well. <laughs> no, it was bloody awful, actually. <laughs> he keeps going I back can't, to it. It's actually kind of unbelievable how bad it is. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> I am kind of shocked. It, it, I'm actually, I, I'm going to drink me kind of angry. Yeah, okay. Forget the crap. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay. All right. Well, I think we had a very successful blind tasting. I here. think so. I think so. I we, was quite happy with how that it went. It means that. Our prejudices are probably right. <laughs> True. That's what I learned. Yeah, that's that what one. we came to. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, sometimes a book. Can yeah, you can tell a lot about cover. a book by its cover. Yeah, yeah how about okay. that? Yeah. We'll so, see what we do in the next one. Cheers. cheers to that. We recently finished off our two part series about Thanksgiving wine right here on I Know Jacks. First, we talked about white wine, then, we talked about red wine. <laughs> You can find Chris's suggestions about what wine to pair with turkey on iknowjacks.com. And you can also find those awesome videos there too. They're actually pretty good if I do say so myself. Ho, 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 happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> the weekend following Thanksgiving is a busy one. We're getting into the holiday season now, so hang on. 
First and foremost, it's time to light up the big Christmas tree at the Jacksonville Landing. Believe it or not, my informants tell me that this year is the 29th year for this event. The ginormous tree itself is 56 feet tall and it features over 78,000 lights and more than over 100 ornaments. That's a lot bigger than the one at my house. <laughs> and the Christmas tree at the landing is not only big, it can also perform a 10 minute long synchronized light show set to holiday music. My Christmas tree can't do that either. <laughs> and if I had young kids at home, I'd say that this is a Christmas tree that we would go and look at, even if you don't make it out to Friday's tree lighting ceremony. You can see the light shows, of course, on Friday, and then it continues all the way to New Year's Eve. The annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony at the Jacksonville Landing will take place Friday, November 29th at 7 p.m. At Riverside Arts Market, there is the Small Business Saturday. Why not head out to Ram on Saturday for your local Christmas shopping needs? They will have 150 different vendors and it should be the perfect place to find great Christmas gifts. Small Business Saturday takes place at Riverside Arts Market on Saturday, November 29th. There's also the light boat ceremony downtown. Enjoy a parade with hundreds of boats all decked out for the holiday season passing by the Jacksonville Landing. The parade begins at 7 p.m. and will end with a fireworks show, plus there's live music as well. The light boat parade takes place on November 30th, starting at 7 p.m. Jack's Beach also has an event to put us in the holiday spirit. It's called Deck the Chairs. It's a display of more than 20 lifeguard chairs decorated in coastal themed designs and lights. There will be deck chair decorating music, hot cocoa. Yep, we need that on a cold winter night here at the beach. Judging and lighting ceremonies. Deck the chairs start on November 30th, but if you can't make it out for the first day, the deck chairs will be out on display until January 4th. Now there's a lot of other events in our area. For example, Fernandina Beach has its yearly pajama sale and St. Augustine has their Uptown Saturday night and Christmas Made in the South is coming to Prime Osborne. For more ideas about fun things to do in our area, check out my website at iknowjacks.com. Hi, I'm Kamari from Glitter in My Grits. I wrote a nifty little sandwich roundup article on iknowjacks.com where I visited Claire's Tidbits the French Pantry and Ancient City Subs, and I got to taste some awesome sandwiches. You should go check it out. This season, we've been meeting up with the Jaguars players in the locker room in our series that we've called I Know Jags. The idea was to just get to know our team better, and this time, Marcel is asking the players about their holiday plan. So what do you miss most about Thanksgiving now that you're in the NFL? Uh, being able to, uh, the preparation like up to Thanksgiving. Just all the people at home, everybody there, everybody cooking, everybody lending a hand. You know, now it's more of a, you got to go into work and then you come home to it. You know, you don't, you don't see the, the, the preparation and, and everybody really coming together to make the meal. I think that's, that's mostly what I missed about Thanksgiving. The food is always going to be there and I always enjoy the food. Favorite food? Oh, candy yams. Oh, got to have a candy yam. We don't have candy yams. We don't have a meal, period. So being in the league, obviously, you know, you can't pick out for Thanksgiving and everything like that. What's, what's the, what do you miss most about Thanksgiving before you got drafted? Uh, ham and sweet potato pie for my mom. <laughs> I love my mom's sweet potato pie, so. Favorite food? Sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie and some cake. <laughs> I love cake. Any kind of cake my mom cooks. All right, so the biggest question is, how much pie are you bringing for us? You got to bring something back. I'm not bringing anything back. I'm just keeping it unselfish when it comes to my mom's sweet potato pie. <laughs> what does it mean to have Mercedes Lewis back? You know, I'm sure he's pumped. You know, he was over running on the fields every day when we were practicing when he was out. Uh, I talked to him yesterday, said he feels really good, said he feels ready to go. So I'm excited. Uh, I remember his one throw he threw. Uh, you know, he tried to get that tight end a chance to go up and get it. I was like, man, I can't wait to get back. I was like, you know, when I get back and we run that route, and he just cut me off. He's like, I'm throwing it up. He's like, don't worry about that. I'm throwing it up. I think just, you know, being, you know, 6'7 and the athlete that he is, 
Um, I mean, he's the kid that you never watch him do anything, and you pick him first, you know, to play backyard, whatever. Uh, so, you know, I think uh, you always like your chances on him versus, you know, there ain't a whole lot of six, seven guys playing defense. So safety, corner, linebacker, um, you know, it's usually a good matchup. And, you know, I know he'll work hard to, uh, to do whatever he can to get open. He's a huge target, um, you know, super athletic, can go get the ball. He's, you know, definitely a huge help in the running game blocking. And, uh, you know, I know he's excited to be back as well. Thanks for watching I Know Jacks. Make sure to check out my videos online as well. I'll be back with another brand new episode next week. And until then, I'll see you on the internet.